Hey there, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about three important types of gaskets used with ASME flanges. The non-metallic seal, that is full face gasket, the ring gasket, that is metallic, and the composite seal, that is spiral wound gasket. But the most important thing is the place it needs to be installed which is a flange face. Smooth and serrated flange face surface styles are the most popular. If constructed per industry standards, serrations are required on the raised face, RF, and flat face, FF, flange surfaces. Metal gaskets or sealing surfaces with serrations are used in high temperature and high pressure system flanges. Smooth flange face surfaces and soft gaskets are possible for low temperature and low pressure system flanges. Concentric circular grooves or continuous spiral grooves, sometimes referred to as phonographic grooves, are machined into the flange sealing surface to create serrated flange surfaces. Gaskets that are semi-metallic or non-metallic are used on serrated flange surfaces. In order to stop leaks from or into the linked items when they are compressed, a gasket is a mechanical seal that fills the gap between two or more mating surfaces. It is a deformable substance that is used in mechanical assemblies to produce a static seal via bolt torquing and keep it in place under a variety of operating circumstances. It is best practice to steer clear of potential leak channels in piping systems, although occasionally their existence is required for erection and maintenance. It is possible to establish a leak-free junction provided the right materials are chosen, the fastening technique and procedures required are followed, and appropriately qualified workers are on hand. It describes the steps required to complete a leak-free seal between the two compatible flange faces, as well as the required gaskets, bolts, and other joining components. The bolted flange junction is the potentially weakest link in a piping system, so the construction materials and the flange type's design constraints must never be surpassed. If the mechanical attachment is leak-free, then a flanged connection is likely advantageous as it is easier to construct and remove than a welded junction. These components play a critical role in ensuring leak-free connections in piping systems, so let's break down what makes each one unique. Process facilities developed per ASME B31 norms are required to utilize gaskets that meet the following three frequently used international standards. Gasket fabrication, dimensions, tolerances, and markings are among them. Metallic gaskets for ring joint, spiral wound, jacketed pipe flanges, ASME B16.20. ASME B16.21, non-metallic flat gaskets for pipe flanges. Christmas tree and wellhead equipment specifications are found in API 6A. First up, we have the non-metallic gasket. As the name suggests, this gasket covers the entire face of the flange, with holes that align with the flange bolts. Cut from a flat, soft sheet, non-metallic gaskets are typically used with flat face mating flanges for low pressure class applications, ASME 150, and are very rarely specified for pressures higher than 20 bar. Compacted asbestos fiber, CAF, gaskets were a common usage of asbestos before the material was phased out of the industry due to health and safety concerns. Compressed non-asbestos fiber, CNAF, gaskets is the new term for the product. Materials such as Teflon, PTFE, Flexible graphite, and elastomers, natural and synthetic rubbers, are used to make non-metallic gaskets. Types of full-face gaskets are secured in place between flat-face flanges. Raised-faced gaskets can be used with flat ring gasket types, which are situated inside the flange's bolt circle and do not completely enclose the face. Full-face gaskets are typically used with flat-face flanges and are ideal for lower pressure applications. They create a large sealing surface, providing an excellent seal for general-purpose piping systems, like water, air, or low-pressure steam. This type of gasket is also easier to install since it stays in place during assembly. Next, let's talk about the metallic gaskets. Unlike full-face gaskets, a ring gasket only covers the area around the bore of the flange. It's commonly used with raised face flanges and is more suitable for higher-pressure applications. Ring gaskets are designed to concentrate the sealing force in a smaller area, which helps achieve a better seal under extreme pressure conditions. In many high-pressure systems, you'll often find these gaskets in use, ensuring the flanges maintain a tight, reliable connection. Typically, one grade of metal is used to create metallic gaskets that have a predefined size and shape. The ring-type joint, which is suitable for usage at high temperatures and pressures, is the most popular kind of metallic gasket in the process sector. As per ASME B16.20, 
Ring joint gaskets are produced to fit flanges that are built in accordance with ASME B16.5 and ASME B16.47. Flanges and corresponding gaskets are covered by the API 6A standard and fall into three categories. Style R, in octagonal or oval form. Style RX, a pressure-enhanced version of the conventional style R ring gasket for a joint. Pressure-energized ring joints of style BX, intended for use on systems under pressure of up to 20,000 pounds per square inch, 138 megapascals. Also, these ring gasket have some important purpose on why they are being used which we will see in more details in upcoming videos. Lastly, we have the spiral wound gasket. This type of gasket is one of the most widely used for high pressure and high temperature applications. It's made by spirally winding alternating layers of metal and filler material, such as graphite or PTFE. The metal provides structural integrity, while the filler helps create a tight seal, even under extreme conditions. Spiral wound gaskets are perfect for handling fluctuations in temperature and pressure, making them a go-to choice in industries like oil and gas, chemical plants, and power generation. Gaskets that combine two or more metallic and non-metallic elements are referred to be semi-metallic. The integrated component can be sealed by the non-metallic part of a gasket, while the metal offers the gasket strength and durability. Although ring-type joint gaskets are often employed at classes ASME 1500 and higher, these composite gaskets are used in low pressure, ASME 150, through high pressure, ASME 2500, classes. Spiral wrapped, metal jacketed, cam profile, and metal reinforced graphite gaskets are examples of semi-metallic gaskets. The most popular gaskets for raised face flanges are spiral wound gaskets, SPWD gaskets. All preparatory classes, ranging from ASME class 150 to class 2500, employ them. The spiral wound component of the gasket, which contains the soft sealing material, forms the seal between the flange sides. It is made by encircling a metal mandrel with a prefabricated metal strip and a soft filler material. The outer or centering ring of the spiral wound gasket keeps the windings in place and helps to position the gasket inside the bolt circle. It may feature an extra inner ring for certain applications and greater pressure ratings, which aids in securing the winding and keeps it from bowing inward and getting into the process flow. To fit flanges built to ASME B16.5 and ASME B16.47, spiral wound gaskets are produced by ASME B16.21 standard. The material used to make jacketed gaskets is non-metallic and is kept inside a metallic jacket. This low-cost gasket configuration is occasionally applied to pumps, valves, and conventional flange assemblies. Jacketed gaskets offer a low-cost gasket for heat exchangers, shell, channel, and cover flange joints. They are readily made in a range of sizes and shapes. They are insensitive to cyclic operation conditions and uneven flange finishes because of their metal seal. So, to sum it up, spiral wound gaskets offer flexibility for extreme conditions, full face gaskets provide coverage for lower pressure systems, and ring gaskets focus sealing power on high pressure flanges. Choosing the right gasket for your ASME flange can make all the difference in the safety and efficiency of your piping system. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more engineering insights. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Until then learn and advance.